Scientists say it's no surprise that forever chemicals have been found in some North Carolina fish. There's a health advisory after levels of PFAS were found in fish in the middle and lower Cape Fear River. I spoke to two researchers who say it's not too late to fix the problem, but it's going to take time. Ever since mankind walked the banks of the Cape Fear River, they have fished to eat and over time to make a living. But now the North Carolina Department of Health and Human Services recommends limiting consumption of fish caught in the Cape Fear from Cumberland County all the way down to just north of Wilmington. It comes as forever chemicals or PFAS were found in fish tissue. Scientists with RTI International continue to conduct their own research into forever chemicals and their impact on the environment. The new findings uh, showing that there are PFAS and fish within the Cape Fear watershed are not surprising and echo some of the findings that we've seen nationally um, with PFAS and fish in Alaska and the Great Lakes region and other freshwater fish. Um, so that's that's an important thing to understand. PFAS have been used to make firefighting foam and in the case of the Camores plant in Fayetteville, nonstick cookware. With government oversight, work at Camores is underway to correct the exposure of PFAS in the soil, air and water. All of these things are impacted by the environment and our health and so it's just important to consider how, you know, contaminants getting into the environment can impact all aspects of our lives. PFAS are also used in agriculture. And since there's agricultural areas around the Cape Fear watershed, that could be a continued source of PFAS exposure as well. That's not based on industrial manufacturing, but is affected by the use of PFAS in the environment overall. PFAS have long been suspected of causing major health problems like cancer. The U.S. faced a similar dilemma with PCBs. In 1979, the EPA banned those toxic chemicals used in industrial and consumer products. It took decades to get the situation under control, but could be a model for how to move forward with PFAS. There's so many researchers doing great work trying to address this issue on all avenues news that I'm hopeful that it it'll be a, you know an issue that we talk about and learn from but won't be an issue in the future but in the short term issues like contaminated fish will likely continue to grow before they slow down and so I've got a bunch of stuff on uh, at CBS17.com regarding it. I've posted some of the research that RTI is doing. Mm -hmm. There's ongoing research all over the country with, with this sort right. of thing. And then, too, I've got the breakdown for you in terms of who specifically is affected, what fish that they're talking about that uh, NCDHHS is advising. So all of that's right there for you. Important information to check out. Absolutely. For us.